Welcome to the Mullet family. My name is Mary Mullet. Today I'm going to show you how I make and freeze mashed potatoes. I just got done peeling 30 pounds of potatoes. The next step is I'm going to dice these up in pretty big chunks. I got all my potatoes chopped and they're in pretty big chunks. Now I'm just adding water and then I'm going to put it on the burner and let them cook until they're soft. Often when I'm cooking uh, potatoes, they like to kind of foam and boil. Adding a little bit of butter helps with that. Looks like Mary needs some manpower to dump the water off of some potatoes here. Smells good. I think that's it. These potatoes are fully cooked and they're ready to be mashed. And what I'm going to use is just a simple potato masher. And then when they're kind of blended together with all my ingredients, I'm going to whip them up in my KitchenAid mixer. I love cream cheese in my mashed potatoes. So I always put in lots of it. And the next is butter. And I don't just put in butter the way it is. I brown it. Butter gives it such a buttery flavor. The cream cheese makes it so creamy. And of course I add milk and salt. And I just blend it and whip it together. And then after it's all mixed and blended together, I put it in freezer bags and freeze it. Having ready meals in my freezer is so handy to have. Now, when you freeze mashed potatoes with a lot of milk and cream cheese and butter, and you saw it, sometimes it separates. Like the it looks watery and it looks like everything has separated. But when you put it in your baker and bake it for like half an hour to an hour and just let let it simmer, all those ingredients just blend right back in together. That's my experience. It is Sunday afternoon. All week long, our family is busy. Marvin is working, the kids are in school, and I'm usually running around doing housework. But on Sunday afternoon, it's time to put your feet up and relax and eat popcorn. And this is my kettle.
Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Mullet family. We live here in Montana. Sunday afternoon, we're uh, loaded up and we're just going to head up in the mountains for a scenic drive. Fall colors are about at the peak right now. A little rainy and a little cloudy. We like to just drive up around and uh, just look at the scenery and everything just on Sunday afternoon. And uh, Mary went and baked us or popped us a bunch of popcorn. Show us the popcorn manual. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. So, yeah, it's it's uh, going to be rainy the next couple of days, and we've been wanting to get out and just drive around. Mary likes to drive out and about when it's dreary and soggy, so this is what we're doing on a Sunday afternoon. Hi, Jordan. Manuel. Hi. Hi. Are you chilly? Yeah. Yeah, so we got up here. Cloudy. A little bit rainy. What? Kind of cool today. Actually, it's pretty chilly. Behind us is Lake Kukunusa. We're probably a good thousand feet above it, but it's just a beautiful sight. We can actually see some campers way down there, parked on the shore. A couple little clouds floating around. A few islands out there too. The boys are just being boys. <laughs> Throwing Our stuff down the mountain. Yogurt ever. That's because it's hot. Whoa! 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 Hi, Jordan.
from our little Sunday afternoon outing, rode around up to the mountains for a while, took some photos, um, just hung out, had a good time, and went down to the Libby Dam and had a nice play area there. So we got home and we're topping it off with uh, a big dish of ice cream. Do you like ice cream, Georgia? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the Mullet family. Stay tuned. It's deer season and uh, we'll have more sharing.